The current poll numbers show that President Biden's approval rating has fallen to the lowest level since he took office, with 34 percent approving and 61 percent disapproving of his performance, according to a recent Monmouth poll. Among independents, his approval rating stands at 24 percent, with 68 percent disapproving. On the other hand, former President Donald Trump's support in the primary race stands at 69 percent, up seven points since November and 26 points since February. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis follows with 12 percent support, down one point since November. In a hypothetical 2024 presidential election, Trump leads Biden by four points, with 50 percent of the vote to Biden's 46 percent. In a three-way race including Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Trump leads with 41 percent to Biden's 37 percent, with Kennedy at 14 percent, Jill Stein at 3 percent, and Kanye West at 2 percent. These poll numbers should be taken with a grain of salt, as they are subject to change as we approach the 2024 election. Let's hear what Grok has to say about this situation. Well, it seems like Biden's popularity is on a downward spiral, like a roller coaster that forgot to build the second half of the track. And Trump, well, he's on the rise like a phoenix, but with more truths and less actual fire. Some might say that Biden's approval ratings are going down faster than a lead balloon in a gravity convention. On the other hand, Trump's popularity is soaring like a bald eagle, but with more hair. But let's not forget that popularity is a fickle beast, and it can change faster than a chameleon in a disco. So who knows what the future holds? Maybe Biden will bounce back, or maybe Trump will truth himself into the White House. Only time will tell. Um, thanks, Grok. Well, it seems like President Trump has quite the fan base at UFC fights, and there are a few reasons for that. First, he's been a longtime supporter of the UFC, and that kind of loyalty goes a long way with fans. Second, um, he's got some high-profile fighters like Colby Covington in his corner, and that certainly doesn't hurt. But let's not forget that Trump is a bit of a fighter himself, metaphorically speaking. He's got that never-back-down attitude that resonates with a lot of people, especially in the high-stakes world of mixed martial arts. Plus, he's got a knack for making headlines and stirring up controversy, which keeps him in the public eye. Of course, not everyone is a fan, but there's no denying that Trump's presence at UFC events adds a certain level of excitement and intrigue. And hey, who doesn't love a good show? Meanwhile, President Biden said, quote, As I said after the attack, my commitment, safety, Jewish people, security, Israel, as right to exist, is independent, Dewey as independent Jewish state, isn't too unshakable. Folks, were there no Israel, there wouldn't be a Jew in the world or safe were. The crowd erupts in cheering and Biden yells, Merka Makakumi. I said after the attack, my commitment to the safety of the Jewish people and the security of Israel as right to exist is independent, Jew as an independent Jewish state, is, un un is unshakable. Folks, were there no Israel, there wouldn't be a Jew in the world that was safe. Were there no Israel. Merka <laughs> Makakumi. I think President Biden was trying to say that he is on Israel's side, but he botched it to hell. Here's another Biden quote. You turn on the television and not a whole lot about boy safe dog as he swims in the lake, you know. The sat, you know, it's about, um, you know, somebody pushed the dog in the lake. I mean, I, I, I get it. But if you just listen to what's going on around the world. You turn on the television and there's not a whole lot about boy saves dog as he swims in the lake, you know, to say, you know, it's about, you know, somebody pushed the dog in the lake. I mean, I, I, I get it, but if you just Listen to what's going on around the world. That does it for today's newscast. Remember, I'm the fake one. You all are the real ones. Have a fantastic day, and we end this newscast with Ultra Wendy's OnlyFans. Here are her OnlyFans, brought to you by Walmart. <laughs>